Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about creating content in one hour actually less than that and using about an hour a day to post to 14 different platforms we're going to talk about the 14 different if you're wondering how can you post content on all the platforms right it takes so long you don't have the time in the day to do all that well I'm here to tell you that it's possible it takes practice but you know I've been able to create content every single day except the weekends to post on 14 different platforms we're going to talk about that the different platforms that I post to how I get the content to those different platforms how I <coughs> how I work the whole thing the whole system so I can do it in about an hour a day and that's you know you want you can do that once a week if you want instead but we're going to talk about how I do it and how you can do the same thing too all right just in a second we'll get into that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so that sounds a little crazy doesn't it right being able to post to 14 platforms within an hour and you know if you've been following me you know that maybe I'm uh, you followed me a few places you see me in a few places and let me just show you here what that looks like right now if I just uh, share my 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 desktop I mean you know the daily process to post uh, to post the 14 platforms by creating one piece of content in an hour it's it's it can be a little longer now but you know it's around an hour and, and what I mean by that is you know this is where I post on on YouTube you can see right here I got these course income secrets 198 197 196 195 they're all there I post on my blog right I post on my blog you can see right here 200 to 199 198 uh 197 they're all there right daily posts you can see on my Facebook you can see on my Facebook I post every day there too uh if it loads up you can see right here course income secrets 200 right <clears throat> uh some other stuff I post and of course there's course number 199 then down here some more stuff then 198 and then more stuff and 197 over here a little bit down after this so that's the weekend that's where there's more stuff between the two but see 196 so I post daily there then on Instagram you can see right here you can't really see because you, you don't see the titles but if I go to IGTV I guess you can kind of see the title in there uh web hosting uh, introduction you can't really see the numbers here but that's basically uh, what that is uh, on Instagram as well and then on Twitter that's going to be kind of hard to show you because on Twitter uh I see a whole bunch of other stuff like on automation too but we should be able to see some of those in here but uh, there's one here right course income secrets 137 we have a bunch of other stuff a bunch of other stuff bunch of other stuff a bunch of other stuff there's another one here of course income secrets 178 I post on Twitter as well on Pinterest you can see I post here if I go to say pins you can see on Pinterest right over here I've got I just posted some other interview things but course income secrets 197 199 191 over here 190 192 right so I post on in on Pinterest over here getting an insane number of views some of these are a little bit of views but I look at some like one one k <clears throat> right over here 1.2k view right here 400 views there 400 487 views uh, what else 1.2k right here I mean it's totally crazy right and then if we go to um if we go to uh uh well LinkedIn on LinkedIn I post on LinkedIn as well um and you can see these are some uh, older things but there's some more recent like this this is a uh, uh, course income secrets 199 right here and there's uh, some older stuff uh here's uh, no that's an older one. Uh, older one older one but anyways uh, there oh here's a more recent one uh <coughs> course income secrets so so they're all here on LinkedIn and then of course on TikTok as well oh he wants me to verify my account let me just do that right here like this oh timed out okay try again there we go so my <coughs> on my uh on my um well you know, TikTok you can see I also post there here 
pretty much every day get some views on these different uh posts and then I have a, an automatic post to a wordpress success with JS so post number 200 right here 199 198 then I have also on Amazon Alexa we can't see it here we can't see the list but they're all posted here on Alexa they're also posted here in my pod Apple podcast so we can see right here 200 and 199 198 they're all here on uh iTunes over here on SoundCloud you can see right here there's, there's not that not a ton of views and listens but they're all here as well then we have of course broadcast emails I sent out through my Aweber account and I post to my Click eCourse site so every single day right here I also post on here this is um you know 200 199 198 197 right so that's all there so that's it you know one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen platforms that I post on and that's I don't even count you know snapchat instagram stories and facebook stories that I also post every day to talk about the post I just did so that people go to it <clears throat> and so how do I do that right I mean if I look at my process right here if I just show you the process I mean seriously this is let's just make this a little bit smaller because you know this is basically what I do right I decide on a post topic and create a folder in, on my computer with that name right that that post this is something that can take a while if you're not used to creating content regularly right <clears throat> but <clears throat> but that part you know the decision and the choice of a uh, topic is not is not something I'm counting in the hour right once I know the topic it's just creating a folder that takes two seconds right then I record a daily video which is what I'm doing right now I'm recording a video in um, I use OBS to record I add an intro uh, and an outro those are things I've done ahead of time they're ready they're in there <coughs> that's what you see when you when I say you know in the beginning there I say just a moment we'll get into this just in a moment we'll talk about that right so that's when I cue the intro and then at the end of the recording I put the outro those are pre-recorded videos I don't count that in the hour that's something that has been done a long time ago and then whenever I'm done I rename the file to match the post topic that's important for SEO then after that I run a script that does all these things for me but if you don't have a script it's basically it takes a bit longer because you got to go through all these things manually but me I just after I've recorded the video I just decide where I want the thumbnail to be and then I just run a script with that and then it does all this other stuff right here the extraction and everything so basically extract the thumbnail from the video frame I create a SoundCloud square image I extract a gif and um and yeah so I, then I and there's other things it does too that's down below there but okay so then I create a blog post with the same topic and I use the video as the blog anchor with the gif as featured image and the thumbnails as Facebook chairman so those are all the things I do <coughs> for my blog post uh when I do my blog post that automatically puts the share using um only wire to my success with js wordpress uh site which is a free site right then I up uh at the same time pretty much I upload the video to YouTube I set the title as the same as the blog post it's a description as first few lines of blog post blog post I had to read more with the URL to the blog post so that people can go to the blog to see where that's at right that script I was talking about also extracts the first five minutes and adds an outro to it and if you're watching this on any of the platforms that I share the shorter version you will see that well you probably you're not here because we're at nine minutes now so this part here would only be if you're watching the full video but if you go to Facebook or LinkedIn or Pinterest any of those places you're not going to see the full video you can see just the first five minutes with the outro that's what this does so then what I do is I post that five minute video as a Facebook live stream so I use again the blog title is video title I use the first few lines of blog as, as a post description I use OBS to stream video as a live stream so that's just software I use and then I had a readme with the blog URL at the end of, end of the description right then when that's done or at the same time depending on what's going on I post a five minute video to LinkedIn so that's the five minute trim one I use again I use the first few lines as blog post I had to read more with the LinkedIn first comment and after the post updates 
I add the first comment with a link to the blog post now all this stuff you really doesn't take it just takes a few minutes right uh, the part that takes the longest is the 30 minutes of creating the content the actual you know video the whole thing um so then I also create a LinkedIn article so that's an extra thing that's kind of a 15th location but it's a same platform on some platforms I do two three things right like on LinkedIn I create a post on my profile then I create a post on my page then I create an article and then I share the post from my profile to a couple of groups right so I talk about all this in here I can use the thumbnail as the image set the title the same blog post copy first few lines blog post and content add a readme with link to blog and then share I also share that to Twitter all right so next I post a five minute video to Instagram's IGTV so again I copy the text from the Facebook post as a description I set the title as blog post title the partial I take the course and in my case I have course income secrets number something so I take just the title like in this case it's um uh, I forget what I call this you know uh, posting in an hour 14 whatever that title is but that becomes a title in the IGTV I add it to a specific series I have one that's called course income secrets and then after I post completes I add a comment with my IG hashtags that's what I do on Instagram next I post my five minute video to Pinterest I set the title to same as blog post I paste the first few lines of blog post in description and I set the link to blog post to the url to the blog post url <coughs> then I share to soundcloud the soundcloud url to pinterest actually I, I should have I probably should say that I upload the audio to soundcloud that should probably should be the other way around so I extract audio and post to soundcloud let's put that up here because you can't share it until it's extracted right so then I extract the audio from full video and I post that to soundcloud which is shared on iTunes at the same time so I don't have to do it to both places I just upload it to SoundCloud and it shows up in iTunes automatically and then after that I share the SoundCloud URL to Pinterest with the SoundCloud image and I set the image to the SoundCloud thumb image and I also set the title and the, li the link paste the, I set the title I do that too uh the actual uh the uh, set the URL to soundcloud soundcloud url okay I do that create the article LinkedIn we already said that uh I sh and the share to LinkedIn post I'm, I actually do that at the same time as I'm doing my uh LinkedIn share group LinkedIn okay wait over there I also uh post actually the same thing over here oops same exact thing uh do the same exact thing again here oops I'm just going to add that in here to LinkedIn profile and to LinkedIn page right so I do the exact same thing on both of them right uh then I do a then I share my LinkedIn profile post to five LinkedIn groups I actually do that after creating the article so I might as well do that like this I'm just going to kind of show you the order of things I do okay so the video the live Facebook live I actually do it after the LinkedIn usually so let's just move that because I'm actually kind of putting this together because I want to create a course that goes through all these things in detail I want to show you exactly how I do all these things so you can do it too and that you can learn how to uh, do that so there let me do that right here post I'm going to save that right now just in case all right so after that uh, Instagram TV I got that already extract audio from full video um actually I'm going to change that post this is going to be post so post full audio to SoundCloud to SoundCloud all right so um so this title is same as blog post description description is first few lines lines of, of blog post whoops of blog post uh, plus uh, add link to blog post 
okay so that's the thing first full video extract audio from full video and we'll do that down here okay extract audio from full video we also extract audio whoops from uh, no actually we don't do that I don't have to do that <coughs> okay I just do that I'll, I'll tell you in a second what I was going to say <coughs> okay so post five minute video with Pinterest post link in share to SoundCloud extract audio from five minute video I actually don't do that uh actually what I do is I post short video to click e-course um Alexa course so CIS Alexa course it's called CIS Alexa course so what does that do so when I post that it's then it's then it's automatic auto automatically shared to Alexa skills as an mp3 file <coughs> okay so I'm not actually extracting the audio okay so now uh create a story video share a YouTube video to Facebook story create new broadcast email add blog posts uh, uh, okay yeah so the rest okay so that's kind of what I do so this all these things what I was telling you before what I was going to say is that I don't actually extract the audio so if I go to click eCourse for example right over here uh, I have an Alexa skill course um, just want to show you the other course I have on here that allows me to share to Alexa and that's kind of how I do it so I go to my courses it's actually an unlisted course so it doesn't show up in the list so I got to go down here to my courses and if I can scroll down my course CIS for Alexa right here so this you know you could actually go to there if you wanted CIS you can't see it on the screen there but it's uh, CIS for Alexa slash 92 but anyways it doesn't matter this here if I click on the feeds right there it shows me the actual our Alexa feed and the RSS feed if I click on Alexa feed right here it will show you what it looks like this is basically what it looks like it's a CS it's a JSON file that Alexa uses and once you've uh, approved your you, once you've created your Alexa skill and you've got it approved and everything else you just you're just going to use this URL here and it's going to show so these are you know this is see how this is an mp3 file right if I was actually to go to that <coughs> uh let's just do this oh I guess it, I, I, do, uh, I do this here I just go to slash media slash media I'm going to take those backslashes out because that doesn't work in your browser if I go there this is exactly this is what Alexa gets right Alexa brand Johnson that's the just an mp3 it's just so that's supported by clicky course automatically you can actually access this stuff like this uh, so that's Alexa what else can I show you that's uh well there's not much else I mean this is this is basically the process I go through is going through doing all these things and how do I do like I said there's a script actually I have a well this is just the process that you could go through too to do all this first you record your daily video right I make it a 30 minute video around the 30 minute mark um I use OPS you don't have to use you can use whatever you just got to create the video every day or because you base everything from the video then you have to take your video so let's say I go to my folder here and I go to say my yesterday's episode right <clears throat> yesterday's or all these other episodes right like it's like you see this is how I organize my stuff you got folders with all these dates and a number and then the topic right so it's just taking a minute to load there there we go so if I go to say the folder for from yesterday where should you be posting content in 2020 you'll see that I have a gif and then I have a 600 gif and whatever but those are different sizes <coughs> I have a jpeg here the soundcloud jpeg the the default jpeg I have the WAV file which is the full 39 minute extraction from the original video this is the original video right here the first one that's there um it's like you see it's 39 minutes can you see no you can't see let's move that over here to there 
there you go okay so that's the video right there <coughs> and then I have what else I have I have the trim a trim five minute video right here then I have the SoundCloud image for when I upload the SoundCloud I have the thumbnail image here for when I uh, upload uh, Facebook or my blog or YouTube I use that as the thumbnail for YouTube when I upload it uh, then I have the text I have the phase the, all these texts are generated but basically the basic one is say episode where's the episode full text so after I create the blog post I create this text file that contains all the blog posts the blog post text right that's just the blog post test that I create and then I create a shorter version which is just the first little bit with a dot 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 at a position that makes sense and then I create all these other files like see for example my YouTube post contains this and I just take this I copy the, the title right here that becomes the YouTube title this becomes the content whoops the content for the YouTube video the description if you will all this text which is the beginning of the blog <coughs> not the whole blog and then with a dot 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 right here right and then the URL to the actual blog post so that people can go read the rest if they want to read the rest right and that becomes a description in my in my YouTube video then when I do the Facebook live or let's say the LinkedIn post the LinkedIn post I basically have my uh, same I have the title up here and that's all this this is basically my LinkedIn text for the for the video right <clears throat> and then I have this first comment right here which just says you know watch longer video and read more now one of the things I do is I have the same footer on every single one of my LinkedIn posts right it says link to continue reading and to longer video in comments and then it says you can check out my entire LinkedIn library of posts and articles as well as ask me anything by using the ask counselors hashtag then I have a few hashtags there right so that is basically what I do I have I do that for every single post now you can certainly do all that manually if you want and and uh, that's fine uh but uh then what else do I do oh right so the other part I didn't really talk about is this automation stuff I do at the end I create well at the end I also create a story video let's just uh, okay I create a story video and I usually create it I either create it in snapchat or in TikTok because both those platforms let me create a 60 second or a one minute video with you know a different I can put text on it and stuff like that snapchat lets you do these filters and in TikTok you can do the the disappearing text and you can put the link and you can put music and things like that and it gives you a 60 second video that you can then share uh then I can share that if I do it on TikTok then I'll share it on snapchat and I'll share it to Instagram stories then when it's finished on Instagram stories because this Instagram stories will split it up for me in 15 seconds then I post those 15 second videos to my Facebook story and the reason why I do it this way is because if you take for example the whole 60 second video and try to share it to your Facebook story it'll cut it and only it, it doesn't work the same way somehow the sometimes the the video gets inverted that does weird things maybe that's fixed now I haven't tried it in a long time I've been doing it this way for a long time but it used to be that if you tried to post the whole 16 60 second video to Facebook directly it wouldn't work right it would mess it up um okay so the other option is if I create the the story video in Snapchat then I kind of do the same thing I take the Snapchat video that I saved then I post it to my Instagram story and then I wait for that to finish I post it to my Facebook story in the meantime I can upload it to to TikTok and add a few things to it the difference between using TikTok and and snapchat to actually create the 60 second video is that in TikTok, if I create it there I'll have the TikTok watermark right on the video when I share it to uh snapchat and other platforms which you know is okay it's not a big deal um versus if I create it in snapchat it'll be completely clear there won't be anything when I share it elsewhere I add this stuff in TikTok, uh, but it does mean that I have to do some extra work because whenever I create the story uh, if you've been following me on any of those if you look at my snapchat story you'll see it's very it's it's got the swipe up to go to the blog post right <laughs> it's got 
text at the bottom that says swipe up to to read video and 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 uh, to read blog and watch video right it's also got my snapchat um uh scan code or whatever you call it there the 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 the, the snap code I guess in it and I've got the title of the topic at the top of the thing right so I do that in my story in snapchat when I post it to Instagram well I put the the I put some text that's kind of related to this the story which uh the stories I don't always start with the topic right I talk about my potatoes or the garden or the 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 weather or other things right at the beginning so I might put text that talks about the weather or talks about whatever that is then the the second or third or fourth because it's 60 seconds they're all spit in four 15 second pieces right uh, then I put the link to the blog post at the bottom I put cis I it's a shortened link oh by the way that's another thing I do is a shortened link I use my dns to do that and what else uh what else do I do so oh my god there's so much right there's so much to do but the thing is that when you get to the emotion and the notion of doing all this every single day it gets possible to do it really quick so for me I can do the video and then it takes me 30 minutes to post it everywhere the only thing that takes long is the upload so I can't actually especially right here where am I in PI right now in Prince Edward Island my internet isn't the best so the upload takes like an almost an hour uh so that means that I can't create the video and then post it everywhere I can't do that all during my lunchtime right so I record the video earlier I upload it during the morning and then by lunchtime I can do all the rest so I have an hour extra plus the time it took me to record the video so but it does take me like about half an hour to do all the all this other stuff right the only thing that maybe takes a bit longer is afterwards is the actual story I don't usually do it within my lunch time sometimes I try but it depends and then um yeah so then when I take the story in Instagram that's been posted and I share it to Facebook I don't have to do anything I just share each of them in the right sequence and they show up in my story in the right sequence if I want to share to TikTok if I'm if I'm starting from Snapchat and I want to share in TikTok then I have to add the link to the blog post the title to the blog post I make them disappearing text so that it shows up at the end and I put the right you know hashtags and the description and all that when I post it so there's all, all that stuff that I do so I mean those are well I mean that's it then you know how do I do all this how do I automate all this let me see if I can show you right here if I show you right here um let me just actually let's see what's the best way to show you this let's go here and actually let's go to my code right here uh right in here I believe pin so I have a oh no actually it's not here it's an octo code <coughs> scripts so I have scripts here now I'm a programmer now I'm not saying you can do this but I kind of just show you how kind of how it works I've got this script that's called octo content prepare that script <coughs> basically oh I hope it's going to load the right editor what's it going to load oh I'm just going to use uh notepad plus okay notepad plus it's not there look for another app well, I guess I can just use wordpad for now okay <clears throat> I'm just going to use wordpad just to kind of show you what it looks like it's going to load it up hopefully the memory isn't uh going to be a problem on my computer probably it's getting to a point where it's crazy <clears throat> but let's see okay so that's yeah that, I don't like that let's load this up with notepad plus definitely want to use notepad plus more apps <coughs> hmm look for another app I want to use notepad oh it's not even that's weird um, notepad right here there it is notepad plus there we go okay so now that's going to be a bit better it's going to load up notepad come on oh it's loading up over here let's put it right over here let's see what it looks like on this to make sure you can actually see it so basically I have a script that does all this stuff 
and you know what it does if we we'll just look at it right it creates a LinkedIn a post text it creates a SoundCloud post text it creates the Pinterest post text it creates the Facebook live post text the YouTube post text then it creates a jukebox Twitter a jukebox LinkedIn by the way those are automation things that I use that I haven't talked about uh, after I create the story which I just talked about here I share also to you the YouTube video to my Facebook story so after I've posted the story to Facebook I go back to YouTube and I say share and there's an option in there to share to your Facebook story so it adds to my Facebook story a link to the full video if somebody wants to see it then I create a new broadcast email in Aweber that basically just means go to Aweber create it I use <coughs> I use um uh, use title uh, same as blog post or subject use subject same same as blog post title uh, then I uh, use first few lines lines of blog post in intro um, add image of 600 gif that's the 600 wide Wrong wide. 600 wide gif and then I add rest of top half of blog post text with oops with link to blog post right so I do that as a as a broadcast oh it was set as broadcast to send a week a week later so it's basically a broadcast that goes out a week about a week after I create the blog post and so that gives me a week to kind of prepare it ahead right uh, then I add a blog post to SoundCloud add, I add blog post and SoundCloud links to social media jukebox social media jukebox is an automation tool that lets you um, set up a whole bunch of different posts and then it will kind of rotate through those posts and share them to whichever social media whether it, it shares to Twitter Facebook and LinkedIn if you want and you share it to either a page or a profile and it'll share it to that account at a certain time during the day but it'll randomly pick something from the list uh they call them jukeboxes right <coughs> so that's the other thing so like I said this creates all this text for these things a Weber text is actually created here then it goes and creates a gif a 600 gif a 1200 gif a regular gif then it also creates a thumbnail the thumbnail right here it creates then a soundcloud image using a bunch of different things right here and then it trims it creates the full the the out the <coughs> the full sorry the full wave file and then it creates the trim file and then the five minute trim file I probably should I probably get rid of this because I don't ever use it I just use the five minute trim <coughs> but that's that's the script it does it all for me it takes about I don't know it takes about maybe half an hour to do all that so if you were to do it yourself it would take you longer but the thing with this script is that I just kick it off and I can do other things so that doesn't count in the amount of time it takes so if you were to do all this stuff on your own it would take you probably three to four hours to do all that imagine doing that every single day right but you would get content everywhere but what if you could do it in an hour <laughs> wouldn't that be awesome so like I said I'm going to be putting together a course on how to do all this it's going to be a pay before you see course and it's going to be available in a little while I'm just kind of starting to think about it right now I just wanted to bring it up and if you're interested in learning all this stuff if you're interested in learning you know how to post to 14 different platforms right if you want to post to 14 different platforms like I said right here we got all these platforms right here it's totally crazy all these platforms are here you can post to all these platforms and you can do it too in less than an hour right I mean it's it's insane is there a control can I switch tab I think there's a way to switch tab close reload move tab no oh there must be a new tab 
I think there's a way to go to each tab right no like this shift alt no no it's not right that's the back I don't know how do I go to the next tab I just wanted to go to the next tab and kind of show you what it kind of looks like through this because I'm doing the gif for this blog post you want to go to all these different places you want to be able to post to all these different places in less than an hour imagine that Pinterest Instagram LinkedIn Facebook Twitter YouTube Amazon Alexa uh iTunes uh, Apple iTunes your post your your TikTok your LinkedIn right you want to be able to go to all these different places go to all these different <coughs> platforms all in an hour so we're going to talk about that just reach out let me know that you're interested in getting on the course I'm going to make sure you get it it's also obviously I'm going to be sending it to my list but I mean that's you know that's what that's that's how you're going to learn all this you can look at this you can kind of think okay I'm going to do all this stuff you're going to figure it out on your own there's a lot of stuff to learn how to do and we're going to go through all of that and show you everything that you need to know to do that all right so make sure you reach out let me know that you're interested and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time